this. Do you I, believe in evolution? I do not. I believe I came from God, not from a monkey, so the answer you is gotta no. say that. You well, we're out of here. Well. well, that congressman's opinion is not atypical. In fact, only 40% of Americans believe that evolution is true. Only 40% believe that what the entire scientific community believes is an established fact to be true. Well, let's talk about this for a second. Penicillin was first mass produced in 1943. This was the wonder drug that could cure staph infections. By 1947, the first resistant strain of staph was isolated that actually could grow in the presence of penicillin. So, eh, a little bit of worry. 1950, 40% of staph isolates were resistant to penicillin. That's kind of scary, but even scarier is by 1960, 80% of staph isolates were resistant to penicillin. When was the last time you had penicillin when you were sick? You probably didn't. The reason is because even though this was a wonder drug back then, there was evolution by natural selection in staph, which now makes it all resistant to penicillin. Well, you may be thinking, eh, that happens in bacteria, but not humans. We're special. We're different. Well, 7,500 years ago, in European populations, all adults were lactose intolerant. In fact, still now, in most Asian populations and Native American populations, adults are lactose intolerant. You cannot drink milk without experiencing extreme gastrointestinal pain. Today, in contrast, most Europeans can drink milk without any pain whatsoever. What happened? Well, around 7,500 years ago, a new mutation arose in European populations that allowed adults to be able to consume milk without any such pain, allowed them to be able to digest lactose. That is evolution. That is evolution by natural selection. And that happened in humans. If you want to learn more about evolution by natural selection and genetics, come to Biology 102, Introduction to Genetics and Evolution. See how these two things are facts and are tied together.